What's up, y'all? We back. We had another successful preseason game. We beat the hell out of the Houston Texans on Twitter. I said that, hey, man, we got a lot of film to watch from this. And, you know, we may not watch preseason four film because that's week four film. Um, but but we, we got a lot of preseason three stuff to look at. Um, this is mostly going to be about the offense, uh, Tony Pollard, Michael Gallup. But I, I, I do want to break this thing down as a whole and just kind of get a good idea about how everybody did in conjunction to those two players. Let's take a look at this first play. And I think this is a fantastic angle for them to give us because normally preseason is terrible about the angles that they give us, right? Let's, uh, let's go back and take a look at this run from Tony Pollard. <clears throat> which wasn't the best in the world. Now, first of all, we know Tony is a patient back, right? Now, if you in, let me just scroll, boom. If you scroll it here, if you just stop the play here, the the hole opens up play side, and that's good because it's inside zone. We're reading from inside out. So from Travis to Cam Fleming's outside shoulder, we're reading this thing, right? So in Tony's mind, if he just patiently lets this thing develop, lets Connor Williams get to this uh get to this front side linebacker right here, we got space. We got plenty of it. And I've been saying in all these other videos as well, Tony's not He's he's not Zeke, and I don't want to say this no more. He's not Zeke, but if his offensive line executes, Tony will be fine. I mean that. Um, so what we got here is Tony probably wanted to be patient right here, and I can tell by his feet. If you look at his feet right now, they're not in a hurry. He's kind of you know getting a good feel for what's going on in front of him. Tony's feet are just reading right now, but Leo Collins got toe up backside from jj watt here so now tony got to make a decision quickly right um in reality we want to be hitting this b gap right here because that's just the leverage right cam fleming looks like he has this thing secure here it looks like connor williams is going to climb to 41 and that everything is going to be great but if i roll it a little bit more there um jj is really forcing uh this uh this uh backside cut well, this front side cut from Tony here, like he's really forcing Tony to bounce this thing outside. And what that does is it messes up the leverage for these blocks here. So if these blocks were normally going to take on square, Connor was going to take on 41 square. Now 41 got to hit this gap hard because he sees Tony. And now Connor Williams got to kind of block the outside of him. And, um, you know, Cam Fleming just, just died out there a little bit. And that's unfortunate, but Hey man, it's amazing what can happen when super backside pressure um, can get to the front side of your play, right? But let's keep watching. Let's just imagine Lael ain't way back here by the first down marker, by the first of the first down marker, right? What you get here is a good block from Suofilo, a good block from Travis, a good block from Connor, okay? Now, it's unfortunate that cam fleming missed his chop back side or whatever because you know cam is going to do cam things but if Leo collins didn't get whooped by jj watt and forced young tony to go backside into this traffic here how good will this play look that's two play and, and this is why i'm 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 always banging on the table for offensive line yo vach we already invested in three offensive line why you need to invest in five because all five matter Damn it, bro. <laughs> Everything is perfect. But if Lael didn't die front side right here, uh, Tony Pollard would have just been able to run this thing off. So if block and he would have had nothing but space and opportunity, but we got, we got a, we got a bunch of front side pressure from J and look, that look, I understand JJ's a, he's a, he's a monster. He's a legend. He's a, I guess y'all want to put him as a hall of famer. He's a hall of famer. He's top tier. He's elite. But goodness, Lael, if he wasn't here, this probably would have been a fantastic play. But on this third and one, when everything's blocked pretty nicely up here, like it's not blocked perfectly, but it's blocked nicely. Th these are the kind of things that happen. We can we can gain positive yards. We can get a smooth six yards right here. We can we can we can convert third downs when we block the guys in front of us. You know what I mean? We we ain't got to get all the movement in the world. Lael, uh, who's backside? Let's say JJ Watts backside getting blocked by. Who is that? Connor Williams? Nah, Connor Williams ain't blocking JJ Watt. Yeah, okay, look, I don't know who, but, but like we just dealt with him, right? We just dealt with JJ Watt, and I'm fine with that. But if we block the guys up front, positive things can happen for us. 
So let's take a look at this play. We got Tony Pollard to the outside. He's going to motion into the backfield. And I actually tweeted on this play. I tweeted, Cam Fleming gets whooped here, but it's okay because Dak Prescott to beast. This had to be one of my favorite plays of the entire drive, man. Cam gets whooped up there, but Dak is going to escape, and he's going to get the ball to Gallup, man. Hey, man, Gallup has been fun to keep tabs on this offseason. If you've been keeping up with the – uh, training camp footage that gets dropped on YouTube or whatever. You know, you'll 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 see practice. You see Dak and Gallup cutting up. And what we need is that rapport. We need that that chemistry for plays like this, right? This is what I like the most. And I think they give us a good angle on the next Yes, sir. They give us a good angle here. What I like the most is that when Gallup, last year, Gallup didn't have the awareness to always come back to the football or to find Dak and properly react to what's going on here. Dak is going to get in trouble. Let me scroll a little bit. Dak is going to get in trouble and he's going to move around a little bit. But what you see, Gallup, he's, he's looking back for the ball, but he's finding Dak. And when he finds Dak, he sees trouble. Right. He sees trouble, but he's not just going to keep running the route. He's not just going to keep fading to the to the uh, to the uh, pylon there. He finds trouble. And he stops what he's doing, comes back, gets some inside leverage and he seals the catch. Let me show you all this, because this is what happens when you block the D line. This is what happens when you block properly. This is what happens here. This is what happens here. <clears throat> Look at young Tony Pollard. We got so much to say about young Tony Pollard. First of all, you can tell his patience. You can always look. Um, you can look at the running back's feet and tell what they're what they're thinking. Right. And you can tell the patience here. Look at the patience in his feet. Look at the patience. And then when he sees it, he's gone. Right. And this is what happens when everything. Look, look at how nicely this is blocked up front, man. We're taking care of our combos on the first level. We're coming off on the linebackers. Y'all know the the two things you got to do to block the zone correctly. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, comment in the comment section. Two things to to properly run the inside zone. And those two things happen right here. Right. And boy, oh boy, Tony just did the rest. Tony just did the rest, man. But hey, like I said, you ain't you ain't got to be Zeke to run the ball effectively. We just got to put faith in the offensive line to get things done. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. This is supposed to be a touchdown from young Michael Gallup, but the referees tried to hold us. Look at him sitting in his zone here. This Michael Gallup up top here. Take a look at him finding the hole in the zone that he wasn't doing very well last year. Finding a hole in the zone, sitting there, getting the pass. Supposed to be scoring, but they call holding on on um, on uh, Connor Williams here. We're gonna definitely take a look at that. But look at Gallup here. He sees the leverage. He knows he 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 knows that he he's got to clear this guy, but he can't really get too far into this dude. Now what's happening is Jason Witten is gonna carry that guy just a little bit, right? He's this uh this linebacker started off here, but Witten is just gonna carry him a little bit. And what that's gonna do is give us just enough space down bottom. Now Cooper needs to get the ball out now because once we see. See, I ain't even hit me and hit that button. Uh, Cause what we see here is Jason is giving us the look that we want moving this linebacker, and it happens. And this is all the space we got. Cooper needs to get the ball out now. He's a little late. He's a little late, but that's okay. We he ends up getting the ball to Gallup anyway. Um, let's take a look at the Connor Williams block that they call holding on because the referees tried to hold us. We got Connor Williams here, and I don't see the problem here. But whatever. <clears throat> Take a look at this play, man. I can't wait to see this in the regular season. This is going to be the last one. I can't wait to see this in the regular season. We got this nasty screen that was set up, right? Uh, Tony Polly using his hands and the patience. Well, let me run the play because y'all hate when I run the play and stop the play and talk over the play and not show the whole play. There goes Tony to the end zone, but the referees hold us again. So we're supposed to have a whole nother two touchdowns. But, bro, look at the patience from young Tony here. Look at the patience. And the defense basically did the job. The, the defense got a feel. They didn't retrace footsteps. And look at these blockers up front. You got four blockers in front of you. Boy, boy, boy. Who is that? Leo Collins? Good job, Leo. I give you your flowers when you correct. Travis Frederick. Hey, y'all want to talk about your talk about your Pro Bowl center coming back? Take a look at his movement. <clears throat> Take a look at that. 
take a look at that sealing his block up. Gallup getting a block downfield, Sewer Philos in the way. <laughs> but let's take a look at Tony too, man. Tony actually, you know, dealing with arm tackles here, keeping his feet moving, keeping his balance. Um, you know, super good effort on the on the uh, on the uh, back end of the play, man. I, I I got nothing but positive things to say about this, man. Nothing but positive things. They got Jason Witten for a block in the back here, and I think that's pretty. It's like a block in the side. Come on, refs. The referees trying to hold us, man. Do they have? Do they give us a another look at the Jason Witten block? They're not gonna give us another look at the Jason Witten block because they know they was hoeing us. Anyway, hey man. You know, you can you can hit me with the it's preseason. It doesn't matter. Talk if you want to, man. But I see a lot of good things from our offense, man. And I, and we're only going to get better. We're only going to add Tyron Smith. We're only going to add Zach Martin. <sighs> we're only going to add Ezekiel Elliott. And we're all going to, you know, uh, uh, Cooper's going to be back. So, man, you can only just count on this thing being just so much better and better and better. We just want to make sure that the um, smoothness is in order. We just want to make sure the the continuity and the small little details of the offense. And, uh, hey, man, Kellen Moore is going to lead this thing um, lead this thing to the uh, promised land. Let's uh, put some points on the board. All right? Like I said, we got a lot of film to look at. The, the defense did a fantastic job. I want to do, like, a comprehensive D-line breakdown. We had a lot of guys that had a lot of plays. I want to uh, shout all those guys out. We're going to take a look. And, um I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna keep eyes on that uh, on that battle for wide receiver five. Take a look at Devin Smith versus uh, versus uh, Cedric Wilson versus the other guys. We're gonna keep keep eyes on that. So tuned in this week for all the good film stuff. All right. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.